Hey guys, what's going on? Well, it's another day, another video, and I bought another car. So, anyway, you see my car back there, that Fusion, that I've been driving for a good part of the year now. You know by now it got smashed up. Uh, I'm still driving it it's here and there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's probably going to go away because it's probably a total write off. We're still going through the hoops to do that and all that thing is going on so anyway I had to have another car now random resident anyway I had to have another car I didn't well I didn't really have to have another car but I was given some thought to the idea that uh, if I bought another car if I didn't just drive my pickup truck if I just I, I bought another car I was not gonna buy another generic car like Grand Prix, or a or a Toyota, or a Honda, which I still have the Toyota. We haven't decided what we're going to do with it yet. But Nissans, Mazda, etc., etc., etc. It's just I've done those. I've done all those. I've been there. I've done that. I don't want any more boring cars, if I can help it. So anyway, to that end, I've been tossing around an idea for quite a while. Uh, pretty good idea I thought but anyway the idea that I came up with or I didn't come up with but anyway what I'm getting at but anyway but anyway but anyway the idea that I've had in brewing for quite a while was that if I could find the right car I wanted to drive a car that looked sort of like a let's just not say police car but a sort of a official car let's put it that way and so I uh, got kind of looking around on Craigslist for something like that, and uh, you know, if you're going to do something like that, if you're going not trying to impersonate a law officer, but if you're going to drive a car like that, then he has has to look like the part. You know, there's a lot of older cars that, you know, sedans that, eh, they just didn't look like a cop car. You know, they uh, vinyl tops. They were luxury models and uh, cloth upholstery loaded. You know, cop cars didn't look like that. I found a 77 Le Mans uh, way down south, but it was rough. It was a 77 Le Mans sedan, just like the one Buford T. Justice drove, but it's a different color. And I found a 74 Pontiac Catalina sedan. So, you know, just cycle through this. I just didn't find a good candidate. I just didn't find anything that was... Uh, what I thought would work. I wanted something that would run and drive and didn't need a whole lot of work. So I dug deep on Craigslist. I found a prospect. I went and looked at the prospect. I gave him money. They gave me a car. This is what I brought home. Let's flip you around here. All right then, this is a 1987 Plymouth Grand, that's G-R-A-N, Fury. This is what's known as an M-body, which is a variation of the original F-body, which was uh, like a uh, Aspen or a Valari from the 70s. This is the evolution of that. A lot of suspension and everything, drivetrains are the same. Dimensions are roughly the same. This is also a close relation to a Dodge Diplomat and a Chrysler Fifth Avenue. Out of all those three, the Fifth Avenue was the most popular and the most prevalent, but that's the one that's loaded. It's got the half vinyl tops, got the opera lights, it's got the crystal medallion on the hood ornament, just not what I wanted. I actually had one of those cars way back when before it got on YouTube and it was okay, but again, just not what I thought would do for what I wanted. So this car also, by the way, up in Canada is known as a Plymouth Caravelle, but down here they were not called a Caravelle. They were the Caravelle. We had a Caravelle, but it was in a front-wheel drive, like a like that front-wheel drive New Yorker and stuff like that. <clears throat> Wasn't that a joke? A front-wheel drive New Yorker. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, this is an '87. I found this on a used car lot. Found it on the internet, and I gave fourteen hundred dollars for it. And so let's check this thing out. We're going to give it a walk around and see what we got here. 
I know it says 1900 on the windshield, but you never give car lots what they want for something like this. So at the base model, this is a salon. At the base model hubcaps, the black wall tires, I'm liking the looks of that. I think this is original paint. Has what appears to be an original pinstripe on it. No vinyl top. No official business car ever had a vinyl top that I know of. Now, they didn't normally have those side moldings either, but now every car like this that you get pretty cheap has to have some kind of damage on it, and this is where it's at on this one. It's just a little bump there. So we saw it, we talked about it, let's move on. <laughs> it's got a little bumpage right there. I told you guys how close I just came to falling down, you wouldn't believe me. It was sold new at Audubon Chrysler Center, Chrysler Plymouth Dodge. And I know where that's at, and any of you who live in that area probably also know where it's at, but if you walk around this car, you wouldn't probably wouldn't believe that. This is where I bought it from, and I don't normally advertise car lots, but I think in this case I'm gonna make an exception because these are real nice folks and they gave me a heck of a deal on this thing like i said 500 bucks less than what they had it priced for so i think uh they were ready to sell it i was ready to buy it so everybody's happy and so if you need a car of some sort down that way this is right off i-22 uh, i think that's a exit 16 on i-22 it's the new interstate we got go down there and see them the guy's name is josh i believe and they're missing an emblem over here that should say Grand Fury. I went and looked at this car a couple, three days ago while I was down that way working. And uh, they've kind of worked on it a little bit since I've been there and looked at it. And they put the rear view mirror back on. They put the one pieces of trim was off of it. They put it back on. They put the emblems back on the sides of it. So anyway, this side's nice and straight. Anyway, the one major thing you see right now is white. So that's that's a good for official business car paint. You always want white. You always want black. Maybe silver. Maybe light blue. Maybe no reds. No greens. No weird colors. So anyway, I looked at this car and I know for a fact it is not a cop car. It was never a cop car. Uh, because it doesn't have a certified speedometer, it's a two-barrel 318. It doesn't have it doesn't have any of the equipment it should have if it was a what they call an AHB. But it looks the part, though. The talk matters for me. So I think what I'm looking at is this could either be like a municipal vehicle, but it looks to me it looks too clean to be a municipal vehicle. So I think what it is, this is just one of these cars that one of these older persons ordered or bought off the lot back then and this is the way they bought them. They bought them with just a bare minimum of equipment because they were saving money. Now here's the interesting thing. Audubon Chrysler Center, if it's still in the same place, is at the very northern tip of Kentucky in a town called Henderson, Kentucky. If you go anywhere north out of Henderson, Kentucky, you're right into Indiana, and that's where they said it came from. And this thing is this clean. So I'm going to, I've already, before I got off the trailer, uh, I did a little look under the underside of it, and it's, it doesn't have any problems at all. It's got a little bit of surface rust around here and there, like to be expected, but I don't know where this thing's been for 30 years, but it, it's not been driving up and down the salty roads everywhere. So let's look on the inside, as they say. Here's another surprise for you. When have you seen one of these cars with factory vinyl upholstery? That's not leather, that's vinyl. A little bit of rippage there. I like that.
Okay, you punk, get in there before I work you over. Uh, these are repo mats. I know they're not the original. Sure. It's an 87, so it's got a third brake light. And I just can't tell you how much I love, love, love cars like this. This is just like that 93 Century. It's never been tampered with. It's just never had anything done. There, nothing changed on it. No power locks. No power windows. It's got a nice headliner. It's got a rear window defroster. I think that's the original map. It's upside down. I can't read it. Even if it's not, I'm going to say it is because I just like thinking about that. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. It smells like it's never been smoked in. The uh, the moldings right up there, A pillar moldings, a little bit. They're a little bit faded and stuff, but uh, not not nothing I can't deal with. I've got some paint that matches that. Windshield's decent. Got a little bit of streaking on it from the wiper blades. I don't know. As long as I live, I don't know why people won't change wiper blades. When you hear them go, rrr, 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 rrr. I don't know. What do you do? So, on the inside we have just your basic interior. It's just got the gauges that these all have. Like I said, that would say that would say certified if it was down there somewhere. It'd be more. I think it goes higher than 85, is, and it would say say certified as a cop car, so it's not one. And you got looks like we got a snapped off. How in the world did somebody do that? Snapped off. Uh, switch handle for the rear defroster and some dummy lights you got oil in there you got probably belt brake stuff like that you got a couple gauges this new of a car and they still had an ammeter in this thing can you believe that and it has huh actually does the intermittent wipers I'm surprised that it's got cruise got tilt wheel the only thing weird about this is it's got this going on. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to get that going. Fix that. It's got just a basic radio there. No cassette, no nothing. It's AM FM at least. It's got... This is weird. Look at that. This thing has got temperature gradients like this would be automatic climate control, but it's not. It just says it's not automatic. But the air conditioner, guess what? It does work. But the only thing is it blows out of the dashboard up there. So that always usually means that it's, <laughs> it normally means that it's got a broken vacuum line someplace because that's the default position for it. Oh, uh oh, let me cover this guy's name up. Here we go. I love paperwork. There it is. Oh, let me cover this up. Let's see. There it is. Indiana Certificate of Vehicle Registration. Oops, excuse me. Purchase date 5 4 16. Hmm. Antique new format. Huh. Wheel surcharge. Prior year tax. You guys from Indiana, y'all know all about this. It's kind of different from what we're used to but he's from it was in Evansville Indiana that's interesting he's got a he's got a uh, PO box for this address my thumbs over then you know, over here on the right is got a legal address for 
It's different, but it's in the same city. We'll stop that when we get back to the internet this evening. Got the old, per old person antique mirror. I always like that. Looks like they got the napkins out there. Some napkin stuff down beside the seat, and that's always an indicator also of old people. I wonder what I smell in here. I don't need this. No, that's kind of tacky. That's almost like it's leather. That's almost like that damn... I'll put that in my truck, I think. I'll keep it, but not in here. It's like that uh, restroom cologne or something. So, there's my neighbor going out with one of his two Porsches. Anyway, I was going to say, uh, napkins are always a good indicator or a good barometer of how old the owner was. I don't know what it is about napkins that... Uh, nothing in there except we got a, some fuses. That's always a good sign. Looks like a pencil and a knife. That looks like that's been a little bit wet right there. Said somebody was, they thought it was leaking some water in here somewhere. So I have to, have to tend to that, I guess. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go grab the keys and we'll uh, key this thing over and see how it runs. I'll be back. Hmm. What's this? Oh. Oh, cool. Bless your heart. Lost. Lost their marker, I guess, when they were putting stuff on the windshields. Oh well, I have no choice but to keep it because I'm 100 miles away from where I bought this car. I'll figure out a use for that. Hmm. Uh, I know I just went and got the key. There it is. This guy here's doing something with the power line. Looking something over there. He's got a car following him back here. A little Honda sitting down the street down there. Been, they've been going down the road doing something. Why are they going to change some of these stuck on street lights at all over the place? Let's see if the stuff works. What we got what works here. Uh, it does not have the original keys, unfortunately. It's got one of these fake ones. But I just happen to have a set of original key blanks that I saved for a rainy day. Sure that's not supposed to be 93 dot. Alright. Yep, there's oil down there and then characteristically there is a uh oh. I hear something running up here. Something's falling down in that light, looks like. You hear something running? I bet I know what it is. Watch this. The wipers aren't connected. Hey, gum dude, you have to be standing here right when I'm trying to do a video. I'll be back. Well, okay. I'll tell you what. Let's go while we're waiting. Let's go look in the trunk. It's got a key light. That works clean ashtray. It's a little bit of rust in it, but it's been smoked in. It's only been smoked in once or twice, I guess. Yeah, it probably made the owner mad when somebody did. They probably had some belligerent smoker that was in here and they insisted they insisted if they were going to ride in this car they were going to smoke because they're a smoker and they're belligerent. I would have told them to get your ass out and walk. 
I'm not gonna smoke in my car. Oh yeah, check these tires out. <laughs> Look about classic tires. Uh, yeah. Well, they got tire shine on them, but these suckers are rotted, rotted. They have splits all the way around them. I had to go pick it up. I went in and drive it home with these things. It's scary. Look, there's a split right there. It's like some cords are coming out of it. <laughs> trying to look for a. It's trying to look for a DOT number on them. That. Yeesh. These are. The other word are summit. Siempre. Six. <laughs> All right, let's go look in the trunk. thing I see is what we don't got and that's a spare tire that's where it's supposed to be right up there but the covers there it's supposed to kind of sit to the side here's the jack handle and the lug wrench actually we got what's this You reckon that's got something to do with her? The HVAC blowing out the dashboard? I bet it does. What we got over here? Look at that here real quick. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, check it out. Here is the optional. Look at that. This is the optional tag. Front tag if you want to put a front tag on this thing. Looks like it was never used. How about that? And spare hub cap. And spare hub cap. That makes about six of these hub caps I have now, not more. Newspaper showing. Hometown News 2012. Hometown News. I wonder where the Hometown News is from. Hometown news. Hometown news. Oh, Brevard County. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain something. Maybe. Maybe this car didn't spend its whole life in the air. sticker up here for some reason. Well. 
Okay, thank you. He's went down the street. Make sure I got my keys out. Yep. So one of the things I just test about being in the city is there's always somebody around you. Always somebody next to you. Uh, 98,206 miles, I think that's original. Come on now, you're not holding each other's tail to follow the leader? Eh, but we always think that's original miles, don't we? Starts faster than that truck does. People would do stuff like this. This car, I guess, sat under a tree or something. They cleaned up the outside of it, but then the under the, the uh, under the hood needs to be cleaned up pretty bad. Something kind of weird going on here. Went down there to get it running the other day. This battery was stone dead. And it it ran good 
but it runs like it ran like it had been sitting in quite a while. You know, it was a little bit stepped out on the gas. It, it kind of, you know, it was like an old car rated car. It's just not been driven much. Sometimes I do that. It's just sort of leaned, leaned over a little bit and then it took off and you know it's just not it's not very powerful i think that fusion would probably outrun it a little bit but anyway it don't matter about that but it seems to be a nice tight engine the only thing i noticed about besides the battery cables are ratty is that uh it's got it needs a couple belts on it for sure because uh, one of the alternator belts is really loose and worn out you see how far down in the pulleys they are especially that rear one yeah, it looks like it's further down than that pulley. Yeah, that's because it's worn out. And you know, stuff like this. We're gonna have to go through it and check the vacuum lines and all that, but this is not gonna be one of these fool with it for two months and then see if you drive it type thing. We're gonna jump on this thing and get it on the road. And I'm tired of crawling in through the passenger door of that car over there. Let's check some lights and stuff out. Okay? So if we got turn signals. Alright. <laughs> High beams. Nope, no high beams. Got one point at the ground, looks like. What's up with that? They got water in them. See how far I'm down the rain? That's weird. Like the adjuster, I bet the adjuster is on. Got a parking lot out over there. Mark the lot out over here. Hear that bird with a raucous call up there? That pew! That's a woodpecker. I know because he comes to visit the feeder. All these lights are working. And you know what the real bummer is? I'm ecstatic to have this car, but you know what the real bummer is? Kind of a bummer. Today's the weekend, the Saturday of the weekend. I got to go out of town. They asked me to go to Florida for a couple days to work. So I got to just put this thing up and leave it till I get back this week. I'm too happy to see that lean burn over there, but it doesn't look like it's ever been messed with, so we'll give it a chance. Oh, it's had a mud dollar on it. That battery's probably not the right size battery either, so. Anyway, just basic, just gonna do some basic maintenance to it and touch up some loose ends and see what's up with different little things are wrong with it, why the wipers aren't connected and why the lights are pointing down and We'll get into doing some cleaning up on it. I like it. I think it's a super solid old car. You know what's better than a couple Mopars? Another Mopar. Yeah, yeah, we got fuel for that. Yeah. Push bar look on the front of that. 
Yes or no? Put it in the driveway. Let's keep the bird mess off of it. And we'll take you for a proper ride here when I get a good chance to do so. Boy, and I'm telling you what, this thing's got a set of brakes on it that would throw you through the windshield. <laughs> Not used to them. We didn't test the horn, did we? Uh-oh, horn don't work. That might be part of Might be something to do with this thing, too. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm trying to go ahead and get this posted up this evening before I leave out, so... Uh, I'm trying to stay caught up on videos and just got a lot going on. A lot of fun things happening. So thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoyed. See ya.